this is Auguste Escoffier, School of Culinary Arts here in Austin. We are coming to you live today from the Ballpark West, which is one of the housing op options that our students have when they're moving in for the summer and fall semesters. We are going to talk with Mark Hewlett, who is the property manager here at the Ballpark West. He's going to answer a lot of questions that students and parents have typically about the property, rules, and whatnot. So Mark, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the policies and some of the rules that students um, need to follow when they move into these apartments? Well, I think the, uh, the first thing that we always ask our, our, our residents to remember is that the shared communal spaces need to be kept clean. Uh, we actually do quarterly inspections to make, make sure that everyone is keeping their apartment clean on their end. Uh, we, all, we, we want people to be able to enjoy their living experience with us, and that's a key part of that. Uh, some of the other rules and regulations we have, you know, we love our, our residents to bring guests and friends over. Um, one of the big things with guests is that we have specific guest slash visitor parking. Um, if you are a guest and you're parked with, if, if you're parked inside of uh, one of the reserved parking spaces, um, we do have a towing company that patrols at night. So we ask our residents to make sure that they explain that policy to, the, to their guests as well. Um, our pool is open from 10 to 10, so obviously, you know, it's a, it's a violation if, if somebody is out of the pool past 10 o'clock. Um, but as far as the rest of the property goes, we'd love to make this a, a, a great experience for our residents. Uh, we recently just made our fitness center 24 hours with, with, the, uh, with the new uh, access control system in place that we'll talk about a little bit later. So we really try to limit the amount of rules we have to make this a perfect living experience for our residents. That sounds so fantastic. So Mark, um, you know, a lot of students and their parents also ask, you know, in this process, you know, when they are moving in on the day of move-in, what's needed that day? Well, you know, the wonderful thing about our, our property here is that we are fully furnished. So a lot of the things we're gonna have ready for you to move in. Um, you know, one, one thing that I always let people know is that we don't provide mattresses. So that's one of the big things is always make sure to bring our mattress. We actually provide the frames, and the frame is going to be a full frame. So um, as long as you're prepared for that, we take care of most, if not all, of the rooms. Um, but as far as you know, moving day comes, my staff also goes through all of the individual things that you'll need, uh, both prior to moving day and then on moving day. So you'll get your key fob, you'll get your uh, you know, your, part, your parking information, all of that will provide for you. That is so awesome. So now what we want to do, I'm, the students, I know you are all tuning in and I know you have a lot of questions. We want to make sure that we answer what are you needing to do to start this process so that you can move into the ballpark. So Logan is going to answer that question. Logan Stansel, the property manager at Ballparkings. What are the easiest steps and ways for the students to start this process? Well, the number one thing is communication. Um, our lines are open from to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, um, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday, and from noon to 5 on Sunday. Um, we will answer any phone call or email communication. Uh, once you have our information, um, we are going to get in contact with you as well. We want to make sure that we sign you that day, especially if you have a summer move-in date. The spots are very limited, and we want to lock in your spot today to help you out and make sure that you are ready to go. Um, for August, it's a, we have a little bit more time, but if we're able to get you now with your roommate matching, the best two are going to lose. So Logan, with roommate matching, the students are going to ask, how does that work for August Scott Yay students? So absolutely. Uh, as part of our online profile, whenever you sign on and uh, you start getting your lease with us, um, there's actually a roommate matching profile sheet online that you get a lot of information that's asked um, about studying, how late you stay up, how early you wake up in the morning. We want you to be 100% honest. Um, whatever you put on there is not gonna determine if you're gonna be eligible or not to live here. You're gonna be eligible to live here nine times out of 10, maybe even 99 times out of 100, really. Uh, what, it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that information and we're gonna put you with people that are very similar to you to make sure that you have the best living experience here. That, is, that sounds so great. Well, you know, all these students are coming from all over the United States to come to Auguste de Scaffier. So everybody wants to get to know each other and um, have a lot of fun. So what activities do you have here at the property in order for them to get involved? Absolutely. Oh, uh, we are absolutely resident tenant friendly. 
Uh, we invite our guests and also our residents to attend our pool parties that we have, especially now that uh, it's come to the summer months. Oh my gosh, we have so many activities out there. We have cookouts. We also have social media campaigns. Um, you'll be able to find us at the Ballpark West, and you'll also be able to find us at the Ballpark East on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we will have, um, for instance, last week we had the NCAA Championship Tournament, which we watched the championship here at the Ballpark West, and we invited all the properties to come over. Um, we also have um, other events where we do, like patio decorations. Uh, we'll have a, just a ton of resident events to make sure that you get to meet everybody else here, and you also get to meet the staff so that we can cater to your I love talking about all of these activities and everything. Today, we're going to tour the property. Um, you'll be able to see all of these amenities that Logan was talking about. So why don't we go ahead and take a walk around, unless we have questions coming in from those students tuning in. Anyone? Okay, well, let's go take a tour of the amenities. First, right now, we are in the clubhouse. This is where a lot of these activities can start. You can have parties and whatnot. There's a, a kitchenette where um, you can have snacks and coffee and a refrigerator, pool tables, um, chairs, and then of course, we, there is a exercise facility here on the property. You gotta keep that endurance up, guys, because you're coming to culinary school. You gotta stand up and cook all day. So let's go ahead and take a tour of this property with Logan and Mark. So Mark, as we walk outside, talk to us about the pool and all of the renovations that you've done. I know you're very excited about that. Sure, absolutely. Uh, some of the things that we're most excited about, we're adding two, uh, two cabanas to this lovely pool area. We do our best to make sure that this is the clearest and cleanest pool that you can find in the city. Uh, we also offer the hot tub spa area that's over right next to the pool. Um, I don't know if you can see in the distance, there are two, two uh, charcoal grills in the corner. Uh, again, we'll use some of those, we'll use the grill area, the pool area, everything you're seeing in front of you um, for our resident events. We always like to make sure that people are able to enjoy the amenities at all times uh, while we're open and within policy. So as you can see, it's just a really great area. We have a lot of space, which uh, you know, not every property has this sort of space. Uh, again, you can see the attention to detail on the pool. We, we really pride ourselves on keeping it blue, fresh, clean. Um, in the area that you're seeing now, this is also where those two cabanas will be placed. We recently completed a, a bit of a renovation on this area as well. Uh, installed the, the black Tejas rock that you see here as well as some of the palm trees. Uh, to give it a, a really great atmosphere. Uh, again, when you're living here, what we're really aiming for is a certain experience that you won't be able to get elsewhere. Uh, as, we, as we move around the pool area too, uh, you'll start to see this, this what I call great lawn. Uh, there's not a lot of places in Austin that are going to offer this sort of lawn as well. Uh, we have people that use this to you know, throw baseballs, play frisbee, what, what, whatever it is that people do, it, it's it's frequently used. Uh, you'll see the fire pits back there as well. We've been planning some outdoor activities around the fire, the fire pits. Um, we're also using this area to provide uh, complimentary yoga taught by a third party instructor. So on Mondays and Fridays throughout all of the ballparks, um, we, we, we kind of hosted it at, at some of the different sites that everyone's always invited. Uh, this is one of our favorite spots to host it in the, the Ballpark West Great Lawn. Uh, you'll see oftentimes 50, 15 to 30 people bringing their mats and, and, and enjoying the instruction. Again, that's free for our residents because this is the type of experience that we want to generate when you're living with us. Um, this area as well is still going under some renovations. Uh, we're, we're including a, a really aesthetically pleasing um, lighting scheme that will be complete by the end of the month here. And uh, while, while that makes it a huge difference at night, it, it, it will just look really, really pretty and light up the property. Again, um, you'll see right ahead of us uh, is that is that fire pit area. We're still doing some renovations to the fire pit area as well. Uh, had you come a few months ago, you would have seen um, 
some cement steps there. We got rid of all of that, made it grass. We're installing some new furniture and it, it will just be a fantastic place for you to come and entertain your friends or take part in any of the events that we have going on at that, at that fire pit. So Mark, we had some questions coming in um, online about the application process. Mm -hmm. When they are online on the system and they get a, they reach a hiccup, what is the best po policy for them to follow for that and fix that? Uh, absolutely. I think that the best thing to do is get in contact with one of our staff members. Each person that works uh, in my office is well trained in online leasing and knows exactly how to fix some of those hiccups. Um, and, and the best thing to do is reach out to us because we can normally fix it immediately and that way the process doesn't get slowed down. Fantastic. Now sometimes in that process when they are calling in, sometimes the phones are mm -hmm. down at certain times. Can you tell the students about those times? Yeah. Sure. I mean, it's a, it's a we get a lot of a lot of traffic. Um, we're a lot of people in the area are really excited about the renovations that we've had at Ballpark West. So if you, if you have trouble getting through to us, you can always email us, uh, or if you prefer to just try to keep calling, um, we are extremely responsive to our email. Um, our email address is extremely simple too. It's ballparkwest at achliving.com. You can always uh, email that email address and someone will get back to you almost immediately. That is so awesome. All of these renovations and everything, gosh, Mark, I can't wait for you to give us a tour of the apartment and what that looks like. Absolutely. Students are really wondering about that with the furnishings and everything that's provided within your cost. So here we are stepping in to the apartment, the model here on the property. Now, when you're coming to Auguste Escoffier um, and you're living in the ballpark west, understand that you will have full furnishings. Of course, this is the model and it's decorated to give you a really good idea of what you're receiving. So Mark is gonna share more about those amenities within your apartment. Absolutely, so we'll start uh, in the kitchen area. Uh, you're gonna see brand new cabinets and countertops. These cap uh, countertops are actually granite. So we're giving you the highest quality. Again, it's just part of that living experience. Obviously, we've had some, we have some furnishings in the model that we don't provide, a, whether it's you know, the, the utensils or the cookbook, but this is what your apartment home is going to look like. These are our upgraded apartments with the, uh, the, the brand new appliances as well. Um, you know, this is a, this is a, a beautiful unit. Uh, our, our, our apartments do have some non-upgraded options. So if you're interested in that, That'll be something that you can talk to the staff about when you when you call in. Um, if you go uh, in that door as well that you can see here, we do have a full size washer and dryer in each apartment home. So again, just a little bit more luxury for you. You don't have to worry about where you're going to do your laundry or what time or, or any cost associated with that. That's just a free amenity for you to use. Uh, part of the renovations too, uh, I'll, I'll add, are uh, we're even upgrading all the all the sinks and faucets and everything uh, to that nature as well. So, just a brand new a brand new apartment for you. All right, so let's show them what the bedroom sort of looks like here in the apartment. Now, of course, you're looking at some of the upgraded. Now, remember, these options are available um, limited, so you need to call the apartment management, leasing manager, Mark, Victoria, and any of the employees in the front office to help you. So we're standing in a room, and these all have carpet in mm -hmm. the apartments, correct, Mark? Yeah. Yes, correct. And again, you know, you won't have the mattress, but you will have exactly this frame and this size. Which is a full size, right, full Mark? Size. Full size, correct. Okay, and a lot of students are also looking at cheap versions as well to be affordable. You know, there's some really great air mattresses, right, Mark? Absolutely, sure. Any, you know, any, anything that's comfortable will work. <laughs> okay, I'm sure we get really creative with our students, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Um, and as, as you can see, I mean, it's just, it's one of the things that I love about all of our floor plans is they're very spacious, there's a lot of room, um, you know, some people have smaller bathrooms or smaller apartments, but this is really, 
one of the things that I pride myself on is making sure that our floor plans are um, as inviting as possible. And it's one of the, the best things about Ballpark West. Well, I tell you what, when did you start doing the renovations on these apartments? Students have been asking. It's been, it's been done in phases. Um, we started last summer. We've continued through uh, this month even. We've started renovations on some of the units today. So it's, it's just a multi-phase project. You know, something like this doesn't come together overnight, uh, certainly. But uh, it's, it's continuous, too. You know, we're always going to be looking at different parts of the property and thinking, oh, you know, this, this could use something different or, or we'd like to provide our residents with something new. Uh, it's, a, it's about providing what we consider to be the best living experience for all of you. And that's what we're going to be dedicated to. Uh, and the renovation process will continue as long as we have work to do on that. Mark, it was definitely a pleasure with having you and Logan answer the questions that students and their Absolutely. parents have about the properties. Um, and of course, uh, the Ballpark West is definitely a beautiful option for our students. And we do appreciate the opportunity and the wonderful tour that you've given us today. Um, and of course, I know you're gonna be tuning in um, to next week. We are going to be visiting the property manager, Logan Stansel, at the Ballpark East next week. Are you excited, Logan? Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> Can't wait to have you all back. <laughs> it's a competition with the properties, making sure that their renovations are going to provide you the best experience when you come to school here at Augusta Scoffier School of Culinary Arts. Now, please do, if you have questions, call the campus at 512-451-5743. You can ask for anybody in the admissions office. Now, if you have specific questions about your application process with your housing, please do call um, the lobby here at the Ballpark West and, of course, the lobby at, in, at Logan's property, Ballpark East. Now, the president of the campus is calling students who are going to be moving in in the summer and the fall. His name is Marcus McMillan. So if you have gotten a call already from the campus president, what an exciting opportunity for you and your parents to be able to get more questions answered and to really have an opportunity to talk with him. I would just like to thank everybody for tuning in today. Uh, we can't wait to see you all next week. If you have any questions, feel free to call the Ballpark West or the Ballpark East. Uh, we can't wait to have you here, and we're just excited to share with you all the renovations that we have completed so far. It has definitely been a pleasure. Thank you so much, and thank you for tuning in today with Auguste Escoffier School of Culinary Arts at the Ballpark Properties. We look forward to seeing you next Thursday at the same time, 1130. Tune in. It's going to be exciting. Have a great day.